Sometimes you want to gather all of your team together to brainstorm ideas or plan a project. Sometimes you want to get those post-it notes out. You want to doodle on whiteboards. Well, did you know you can now do this all digitally using a free app in Microsoft 365? It's called Microsoft Whiteboard. And that is the topic for today's video. But before we start, just a quick intro. My name is Jonathan Edwards from Integral IT. We help businesses all over the world with the Microsoft 365. Now, technology in business is really important. We've got email, which is critical. We've got Microsoft Teams. We've got our telephone system. These are all key components in our business technology. But sometimes you just can't be getting lots of people around a table to brainstorm an idea, plan a project, or just work through a problem. You might have a meeting room in your office with a flip chart and some sharpies. You might have a whiteboard where you all gather around to do regular planning sessions. But there's one problem with this approach. It relies on everyone being in the office at the same time. But unfortunately, that's not the way our teams work today. And isn't it a pain when you can't find a pen that works? But worry not because help is at hand. There's a little known application that is built free into your Microsoft 365 that is called Microsoft Whiteboard. It's perfect for planning projects, brainstorming ideas. It's like a whiteboard in the cloud. Now in a moment, I'm gonna jump on that PC behind me and I'm gonna give you a full demo into how Microsoft Whiteboard works. But just a quick chat about licensing. As I've previously touched on, Microsoft Whiteboard is included free with all Microsoft 365 business and enterprise plans. So even if you've got Microsoft 365 Business Basic, you've got Whiteboard. So without further ado, let me show you how it works. So firstly, how do you access Microsoft Whiteboard? Well, there's a few different ways. You can access it through the Microsoft 365 portal, which I'm logged into here or you can use it in Microsoft Teams, which is really handy for remote meetings. And I'll show you that a bit later. But first, let me show you how to access it through the Microsoft 365 portal, and let me show you how to use Whiteboard in general. So I'm logged on here, and you can see that I've got all my apps down the left-hand side. Now, Microsoft Whiteboard isn't there, so I can click on the app launcher here, and you can see it's still not here. But I've got a little tab here saying explore all of your apps. And when I log into here, I've got a lot more applications to choose from. Now you can see here that Microsoft Whiteboard is here. So I simply click on there to launch it. And because I've launched it, the next time that I log into the Microsoft 365 portal, it will appear here as well. You see it's there now, okay? So this is the Microsoft Whiteboard homepage. Now you can see it's fairly minimal. There's not a lot going on here. It's very simple. So the first thing you want to do is create a new whiteboard. And to do that, you click on new whiteboard. Now, as with a lot of Microsoft applications, they often offer built-in templates and Microsoft whiteboard is no different. These templates are just geared up to help you get going with the application to get your creative juices flowing. As you can see, we've got some recommended ones, but then we've got a whole load more. We've got brainstorming, we've got strategy, we've got project planning. Now, if you want to look at one of these templates in a bit more detail, you simply hover over it and you click on preview, and that shows you what the template looks like. If you don't like that template, you can simply click on the back arrow here and get back to the templates screen here. You might decide you want to use this template here and you just simply click on use this template. When you do that, you get this here and your mouse is asking where you want to put the template on your whiteboard. So I'll simply left click and the template will appear. So with this template, I can reduce the size of it. I can increase the size of it and I can zoom in and zoom out at the bottom here. Now this template is fully customizable, so I can click into anything and I can make my notes, okay? I don't usually use these templates. I usually prefer to start with a blank canvas. So if I just go back here and go back to the home here, this will go back to the home screen of the whiteboards. But as you can see, there's that whiteboard that I've just created a few moments ago. And from there, what I can do is I can rename it or I can delete it. Now, so I don't need this, so I will delete this whiteboard. So if I just go back to new whiteboard again, 
And this time, I'm going to start with a blank canvas so I can show you exactly how Microsoft Whiteboard works. So we've got all these tools down here, and I'm going to work through all of these, and I'm going to show you everything here. We've got some pens, we've got some post-it notes, we've got lots of different things. First of all, let's pretend that this whiteboard is about our marketing plan for next year. So we've all gathered together in a room, and we're going to plan our marketing activities for next year. So this one here is a text box. So I will click on that, and I will click anywhere in here, and it will allow me to type. So first of all, I'll just put the the name of the brainstorm. So marketing plan 2024. What I can do with that, I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller. I can also move it around if I want. I can go in here, I can change the color. Uh, I've also got the bold italic underlines there. And that's the commenting box, which I'll talk about in a minute. And if we're not happy with it, we can delete it. But we've got a title now, and that just shows you how to use the text box. The next thing we're going to do is look at these pretend post-it notes, because post-it notes are really, really helpful. So if I click on that, first of all, I get the opportunity to do select different colors. I'll just leave it as, as this at the moment, and I'll put a post-it note on there. Again, I can change the size of it. I can move it around. So the first idea we've got for next year, if I just double click in here, let's talk about video marketing for next year. Okay, so that's okay. What I can do, I can add another one if I want. I can just go down here and add another one. So just click off there. Or what I can do as well is I can go up here. I can click on there. I can duplicate that. So it adds another one. That's the same size. You can see these lines appearing now. And then I can just go into there and change the name of that. So another idea we've got is SEO. We're going to look at doing that next year. And then what else can we do next year? Well, we can do some telesales. I'll make this a different color just to show you. So that will go on to here. You can see that's a, a different size to these at the moment, which is fine. But if I just go like that, and as soon as I get those squares, as soon as I get those lines, it means it's the same size. So that's quite helpful. Now I can go into there. Another idea we've got is telesales. I can just move that up so it's in line. And a final idea we've got is, it's not really marketing, but we'll call this acquisition. Okay, that's part of our plan next year. Okay, so that's acquisition. Again, that looks a bit big, so I'll just go like this, and it gives us the same size, so I'll go like that. And there we go, that's all lined up. So I've got some ideas now, some basic ideas of what we want to achieve next year. Now we might want to extend these. So I've got some opportunity of, of shapes here. So what I could do here is I could put an arrow in there. I've got some arrow shapes, it could go like this. And we could add some more notes. So I could add another post-it note there. Now, as you can see, this marketing plan is now starting to take shape. But all I've shown you at the minute, basically, is some post-it notes and some arrows. What else can Whiteboard do? Well, if we click on these three little dots here, you can see that I can add different types of files to my Whiteboard. The first thing I want to show you is video. So if I click on video, you can simply paste the link of a video from any of these, YouTube, SlideShare, Vimeo, and it'll appear in your Whiteboard. So I'm talking here about video marketing one video per week. But what that, what is that video going to look like? What's it going to be about? Well, let's put an example in here. So I will go over to my YouTube channel. I've got a video here on Planner. So I will click on just at the top here, this link here, go back to my Planner board, and I'll paste it in there. Okay, that will think about it. You can see, so I can insert that video into my whiteboard. Once that's inserted like that, yes, I can. I can move it around. I can make it smaller like this, okay? So once that's the video is in there, then I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to start showing you the pen now. So this is a bit more ink. It's kind of freehand. I've got different colored pens. I've got markers. I've got a laser. I've got a rubber to rub things out. So let's just go on to this pen here. Now, if I click on there, again, size of pen, different colors. So I, may, I will make this red, and I will just put a little link like that. Maybe create a little arrow like that. That is the type of video we're going to be looking at. Or a nice little feature with this pen as well, you can see here. What will this, this will do, it will create an arrow at the end of everything you do. So if I just click on there, if I just put a line there like that, let go of the mouse, it will change it into an arrow. 
So I could say, well, this is an example of what we're trying to do. So there's a, a video in my marketing plan. What else can we add into there? Well, let's go to these three little dots as well. Let's add an image. So we go into images, we'll talk about telesales. We can upload an image or we can search for an image. So what I could search for is telesales, see what it finds in Bing. We've got some people on the phone here. What about this one here? Let's insert that into our presentation then, okay? That's been added. I can make it smaller and I can just drag that into there if I want. It just makes it look a bit better. That's what telesales looks like. This is just to show you the different things you can do. You won't necessarily do this. Again, so what I'm doing with my mouse now is there's a zoom here, look, so I can zoom in, I can zoom out. This whiteboard, it's also worth mentioning, is infinite. So I can really, I can add different things in different areas. It's a big, big whiteboard if we need it to be. So we can add other types of files as well. We've got documents. So we're talking about keyword research here. It'd be really good if we had a spreadsheet with all our keyword research results. What we could do then is we could upload that to our whiteboard. So that's a really useful feature. We've also got links. So here we're talking about telesales. We've never done this before. So what we could do here, we could go to get some a link. So this is 50 telemarketing do's and don'ts. What we could do there, go back to our whiteboard, click on the link, put that into there and insert that. And again, that would appear like this, and then we can just make it whatever we want. Again, I can just, I can go and I can put a pen like this. Again, this arrow does one both ways. So then I go like that and it makes it into a little arrow. So you can see this is now starting to take shape. These are just a few of the features we can add, okay? So now let's talk about a few of these pen things here now, these inklings, okay? So we've talked about the pen. We've got different colors. We've got a marker, so we can use that as a marker if we want to. This is like a, a Sharpie, if you like. We've got like a laser. We've got a rubber, so okay. So we might want to rub this out here, so that can rub it out nicely like that. And then this is a really useful tool. This is a ruler, okay? So you click on that and a ruler comes onto the screen. Now you use the wheel on your mouse to set this. You can also move the ruler around. If I just move it up here and then I set the ruler like this, it acts like a ruler. So if then I go to back to the pen, I will take that off. I will put this in orange. And then I, if I go across the top of my mouse like this, it draws a straight line. So again, if we want our doodles to be a straight line, so I didn't get the, the arrows off there, so it's done some arrows, but not a problem. To get the ruler off the screen, click like that. So we can do straight lines. I think that's a really useful feature. So some other settings down here to show you. You've got different shapes. I did touch on this earlier with an arrow, but we can insert different shapes in there and we can make those bigger, smaller. You can type things in there. So you've got different shapes just to make it stand out a little bit. And we met, we talked about collaboration and this is what you know Whiteboard I think is all about, especially in Teams meetings, which we'll get onto in a moment. What we can do here, we can put comments on there. So I could put a comment on here. No, we don't have the funds. And I could send that onto there. And you can appear, you can see that appears uh, like that. So my initials, and I can click on there and I can see the comments. So different people can comment in different places. We've also got reactions as well. So uh, we could say, mm, this is a good idea. Uh, we could have some more reactions. I love this different things like that. So it just, again, people can do reactions as you're typing on that. So let's have a look at a few more features. If we go to the top right hand corner, we've got a little cog here. So first of all, we can export it. We can export it out of whiteboard if we want into an image or do a full export into a zip there. And then we've got a couple of options here. So collaborative cursors. So if we switch this on, if we're in a Teams meeting, what you can do is you can see everyone's cursor, okay? So you can see what everybody's doing with the mouse, they're making changes at the same time. You might want to think about turning that off if, if there's a lot of people in the meeting. You don't want too many people making too many changes at once. The enhance inked shapes is very useful. So what does that mean? Well, we'll switch it on. So that's switched on now. If I doodle, so if I doodle, say, or do that in red, that's fine. If I doodle a square with my mouse and then let go, that is what Enhanced Ink Shape does. It kind of tidies up our drones a little bit. So again, another handy feature, especially if you're just using the mouse. 
And then we've got a tab saying authors. If you see next to my post-it notes here, you can see my name is on everything. You can tell that I have created that. If I go into here and switch that off, that then disappears. So again, it's a good feature if you want to know who's done what on there. And then you can format the background if you want. So you've got different colors, if you want a different colored background, or some people, rather than just having a plain whiteboard, they like to have maybe dots on it or road lines on it. Again, it just makes it look more genuine, like a piece of paper almost. So they're quite useful as well. Just go back here. And then we've got the sharing. So you simply click on share. You can share that externally if you want. You can copy the link. You can send it to someone. So there's all the sharing features there. You've got the sharing permissions as well. So you can share it with just within your organization or everybody. So that's fairly self-explanatory there. So the next feature along is the follow me feature. So this is handy if you are presenting to people. You might have, this is quite a small whiteboard. You might have a huge whiteboard and you might be dragging it and showing people different things in different areas. So the follow me feature is really useful. So all the participants are now following me. That means if I drag my whiteboard over here and I'm explaining an image here, they will also drag the whiteboard over for everybody who's watching. So again, if you're a teacher and you're presenting a class and you're dragging everything around, then it's useful to have the follow me feature on. That's quite a new feature and it's quite handy. We've got a little timer here. Uh, this is like a, a, we can switch this on. So why is this useful? Well, maybe if you're brainstorming, we might say, look, tell you what, let's have five minutes where we brainstorm our marketing plan for next year. And that timer is on there. It just saves meetings over running and things like that. So I'll just switch that off and get rid of that timer there. Okay, so the final thing for me to do here is maybe name this, what we need it to be named. So marketing plan 2024. So what I'm going to show you now is how this works with Microsoft Teams. So let me launch Teams. Just go into here and launch my Microsoft Teams. Okay, so you can see we're in Teams now. If I go to my calendar, you can see I've got a Marketing Plan 2024 brainstorm. So what I'll do, I'll go into that. I'm going to join this meeting. Now, just for the purpose of this demo, I'm the only one in this meeting. So I, but I will join it anyway. So we're waiting for us to join, but pretend this is a meeting with lots of different people in it. So where does whiteboard come into this? Well, if I click on share, you can see this is where I share a screen, but I've also got another option now to share content and it's Microsoft whiteboard. So I click on that and you can see it launches my whiteboard. So I've just got to basically choose a whiteboard that I want to present. I've also got an option here to start with the follow me, which I showed you earlier in the video. So I'll just switch that off. If I click on there, you can see now it says stop sharing. So if a lot of people are on this meeting, I am now presenting this whiteboard to other people. I've also got all the options. So again, I can switch the collaborative cursor on. We've also got an option here to allow other participants to edit things if we want them to. You might want to switch that off for the Teams meeting. Again, if you're collaborating and you want everybody to edit your whiteboard, you can leave that switched on, okay? So that is how we would present a whiteboard in a Teams meeting. When I finish with that, we can just stop sharing and we can leave the meeting. Now, after the meeting's finished, what other participants can do, they can go back to the meeting if they want. They can double click it. And you can see along the top here, there is the whiteboard that was presented in the meeting. So you can always, always go back to it. Other participants can see what was presented. Again, a really useful feature. Also, if we want to add whiteboard down here, we can just go to apps and we can search for whiteboard. There it is. Click on add, click on add, and you can see it will add it to our Microsoft Teams. So it integrates very nicely with Microsoft Teams. So that in a nutshell is Microsoft Whiteboard. So I hope you found this video useful and I hope you can find ways how you can use Microsoft Whiteboard in your business. Look forward to seeing you again soon.